to my crib. <laughs> when we were younger, uh, was, is it MTV or is this particular show on television where celebrities show their crib and stuff? I don't know whether it was an MTV show, but anyways, welcome to my crib. Well, if we're not aware, my family and I took a little getaway to a destination place somewhere in Lagos. We just ran away to some new adventure, new exploration, and you know, just to change the environment and have fun. So here is my apartment, or rather the apartment where we stayed, and this is the first time I have ever been in an apartment. So it's not this hotel, so hotel. In fact, truthfully, I don't even know the difference because this apartment just feels like the hotels that I go to, but it's just that it's a lot more bigger. So I'm going to show you guys what the place looks like, the best features that I enjoyed the most, and what I didn't like about the place. So let me show you guys my luxurious Lagos apartment. All right, let's go. So it's a two bedroom apartment. This is the best the light can be. Okay, I think this is the best the light can be. So it is a two bedroom apartment located in the heart of the city of Lagos and this right here is my children's room now I'm not just filming this the very second we lodged in so there has been a little scatter scatter here and there but stick us as we are so let me show you guys what the room looks like it's actually a very big room and I love love the brown team this color is my best when it comes to furniture and designs so when you step in you have this over here where we have the fridge there's a small fridge here where we keep our water non-alcoholic beverages and all of that and there's this big ass television here the hot water kettle for tea of course we are served complimentary breakfast every morning and here is just a table where you can just sit down and have breakfast. The curtains match the bed sheets and the wardrobes and I love that they pay attention to detail when furnishing. Over here is a very big wardrobe. We have this compartment here where you can hang your clothes. There are no hangers here. So I assume this is for fancy. Now we have this one here where you can fold your clothes. And this is the one my children make use of the most. So that's the wardrobe. It's quite huge. And I really like huge wardrobes. I don't like squeezing my stuff. So this is the bed. I have three kids. So we were actually looking for a room with a very big bed. And you know, boys are rough sleepers. We can actually take four people, at least four children. This is the design of the bed, which is very trendy. This is how beds come these days, with this foam stuff at the wall. Of course, we have the side lounge, and of course, the intercom, where we call the restaurant and the kitchen, or the kitchen or laundry or whatever we need. Over here, we have a coffee table and a chair, where you can just wake up in the morning and have coffee. I love the room because it's quite spacious. It fit my three children very perfectly. They were very comfortable. And yeah, so let me show you guys the bathroom before I show you guys the master bedroom. We have this little trash can by the side. Then this is the entrance to the bathroom just beside the television. Yeah, it's actually a shower with a shower glass and there's a bucket option of pockets if the african in you will not just let you be then of course where you can hang your towels wc which i really don't like the color but but it's not like we're sleeping there of course we have clean towels here and one other in the bathroom So one of the things that trips me about this apartment is this long ass corridor. You guys know that my children love to play. So this corridor 
was like their playground while they were here. They were constantly running from their room to from I and my husband's room. So this is the corridor that leads to the master bedroom over there. You can see it's the longest corridor. So once you step out of my children's room, of course you have the fire extinguisher, which 90% of guests do not even know how to use in the first place. So this is like a little room where you have cleaning stuff, mop and stuff. So it's like a small room where you keep those items. So let's walk down to the other room. But before we get to the other room, we have a living room here. Ooh. This place is just like home. Like now I understand the difference. But well, there's some hotels, I think um suites in hotels that are like I designed this room, but they are so freaking expensive. You could get like 300000 for like two two rooms and a living room if it's a proper hotel. But we didn't spend up to that here. So um I think this is a conjoining room from the children's room. So the children can come out from their room to the living room. Not so much. It just has a window unit, air condition, of course, curtains, a television set. I'm not too impressed with that stand over there. But whatever. We didn't spend a lot of time here. Four seater, one here, two here and one other here. Oh, and two other here, that's five seater. So this is the living room area where we sat and ate. I told my mother came around. So this is where we usually sit and gist and eat and watch television and spend some time together as a family before everybody returns to bed. So it's in the middle of my children's room and my husband's room. So what am I doing in my husband's room? And the couple room, the master bedroom. So let me show you guys our room. Mm. This room is huge. Extra large. Just how I like it. So this is the bedroom where I and my husband stayed. And just like my children's room, it has this wardrobe. We have two side tables. One for me. And one for my husband of course clean towels and this huge bed i think the beds are about the same size but they are big enough for you to rotate and tumble and do whatever tickles your fancy netflix and chill and the likes you know what i mean mm. and we have this huge couch in the room just by the coffee table that's where my husband usually take his work, his office work. He carried office laptop here just in case. So this is like a small mini color here in the room. Of course we have our fridge, hot water kettle, and some kind of hot water pot. So this is the room. Love it, love it. We have this mirror here. This is this is like old school. This mirror is old school, but what can we do? <laughs> oh, what's in the ladies? Oh, what's in the ladies? Oh. This is my big tummy. Anyways, just outside the bathroom. This is our bathroom. It's a lot bigger than the children's room. We have this very spacious enough to take up to six people and of course the bathroom when you get into the bathroom there's a bathroom mirror which is expected we have toothbrushes soaps lotion shampoos and stuff here we also came with ours because right now i'm not using any random lotion or any random soap my nose is hypersensitive to this kind of fragrances so i came with my which i have packed so this is the bathroom so um, that's it for the interiors. I'll just show you what the outside looks like. There's a pool area. I'll show you the surroundings, the environment, and let's go downstairs. Just me. So outside the room now, and I'm approaching the stairs. One of the things I do not like, or I do not fancy staying here, is the height. The height of this place. So we are on the fourth floor, 
<laughs> no elevator. And you guys know I'm preggies. That's part I appreciate the fact that it gives me an opportunity to exercise, but sometimes I don't just feel like exercising. I just want the easy way out. But these stairs, especially going up, I didn't find it funny. So, if I had known when I was booking this place that it was at that height, I would have either asked for an alternative room somewhere lower. But yeah, that's the only thing I didn't find too funny. Hi. Where did you call from? Came to see you. What are you doing? I'm looking at this aquarium. What's the name of that fish? The only fish I know is the fish you can't survive. Are those tilapias or goldfishes? But it's probably for you. This could be a goldfish. All right. It's time to go. No, no, no. <laughs> Where did you go? I was in the toilet. Toilet? Yes, baby. Come back on and guide you. Who are you? Who are you? I'm going to go to the toilet. I'm going to go to the toilet. I'm going to go to the toilet. I want to get one thing. You can get out of the aquarium, it's going to die. This is the reception area. Right? Oh my god. No, 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 no. Too bright. Let's take this down so much. Okay, better. Looks like it's about to rain. So I'm at the car park and I'm heading to one area that I didn't get to explore, which is the pool area. One, I didn't come with a swimwear. Two, I don't even know if I can fit into any swimwear right now or how ridiculous I would look in one. Oh my god. Look at you. You're just relaxing there, this man. You're an old man. Oh. It's so beautiful. A pity we never got to get him. Pity. Pity. Yeah. I got my hands away. You should probably stop. That's enough. <laughs> wow. Don't worry, we'll come we'll be back on another day. This is the pool area. At night there's barbecue, mkobi, pepper soup, music and stuff happening here. Like it's always bubbling at night. We already had so many activities lined up that we didn't even have time to explore inside the apartment the premises we're just going out <sighs> gosh so guys I think I'm gonna bring this video to an end right here right now so that's where we stayed and um, we really had fun on the average I don't think apart from the bad food the bad food that almost messed up the whole vacation for me that cost my tummy cost me food poisoning apart from that the reception the staff friendliness and all of that customer care was fine was commendable so thank you so much for watching guys let me know your rating of this place <laughs> go by a 10 don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like comment share and i'm going to see you guys in my next video it's me your girl barista neze 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 pepperempe and this is nezeville bye guys I think I got it This love was overrated